Louis, who's the brother of Jesse Lingard, oh. has been speaking. Now, Trevor, what's your take in this? Um, PR, media training, we know that players have mm. it, but to my mind, is there almost a, uh, is there almost a narrative here that uh, you could say other family members should have it as well? We know that Jesse Lingard has not been having it all his own way. Um he he much have wanted to to have played uh, get much more game time at Manchester United than he has been granted yeah. by the outgoing interim manager Ralph Ranick. But now Jesse Lingard's uh, brother Louis has hit out at United's treatment of uh, his brother. Very unhappy that Jesse was left on the bench for the final home game of the season against Brentford, especially when he saw that Cavani got a run out and Mata got a run out. So this is what Louis said on Instagram. He says. He's been there since he was nine years of age, Jesse, of course, uh, and he didn't even get a send-off. He says, 20 years of blood, sweat and tears, four domestic trophies, three cup final goals, not even a farewell. No wonder it's uh, UEFA Conference League next year. Well done, bro. Your family are proud. Mm. Should he have done that? What good does that do, Jesse? Probably not much, especially when the manager, Ralph Rangnick, come out afterwards uh, and, and reacted from that by saying Jesse didn't train enough to be able to trust him to play. So I think it's all right wanting to defend your brother. That's an emotional thing. Um, you've seen what he's put into the football club, how long he's been there, the affinity that he's got with the football club and the success that he's had at the football club. But what you've got to realise is a manager can't bring sentiment into things. He's going to play players who have earned the right in training the week, the weeks before, the months before, and play them players. Now, I think it's it, it's quite poor if his brother didn't realise that Jesse had not been training a lot to earn the right to play before he came out with this statement. So I think it's a little bit of an own goal. I think if he would have known the lay of the land and knew that Jesse had not been training enough, there's a good likelihood that he's not going to play part in the game. And that's a shame because he's been there for so long and you would... Last game at home this season, mm. you do everything to train just to give to be to to earn that chance. So should brother no. Louis have been told, Louis, just before you go on Instagram, Jesse doesn't merit it. Well, it's it's a difficult one. You, you know, you can control what you put out there, but you can't control your family. And no, maybe maybe, maybe 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 there's, maybe there's a bit of education. Well, how in did it. he know he was going to do it? Yeah, exactly. What are you thought police now? How did you know he was going to do that? Well, you have to think... Well, there's a, there's every he's chance a, that Louis said to is, Jesse, he, I feel this bad about it, I'm going to put his, something out. His brother, All right, go for it. His brother's entitled to put out what he wants, right? He can say what he wants, and we can lift it and turn it into something more than it is if we want to, too. Um, the bottom line is, if you actually read it, it is sort of indicative of how people perceive the sacrifices and the suffering that footballers have to go through. We had to listen to that tosh earlier on from Casper Michael about the sacrifices they had to make. Oh, and then we have to suffer during a game. I mean, suffering and sacrifices are what people do in the real world. In football, you get to t prosper and be rewarded and recognised and, and eulogised and, and, and revered. Right? Jesse Lingard is the architect of his own downfall. He has reaped precisely what he's sown, and it's not just with Ralph Raniak. It was with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer too. You know, well, it wasn't the case at West Ham when he pulled up Well, trees. yeah, we can all go to somewhere for five minutes. His mate, Aubameyang, will go to Barcelona for five minutes and he will revert to type. Who's mate? Trevor's. What, scoring right. goals for fun? Wherever and, and he, he goes. We, and we all knew he would do that for five minutes. And when it comes back down to the reality of not proving a point and back to the normality of what he really is, he'll be back to being late for training and doing precisely what he wants. But still now, scoring goals. Now, Jesse, maybe. But he didn't do that for Arsenal for 18 months. Now, Jesse Lingard is in a situation where he could have left Manchester United any time he wanted. He could have left uh, or orchestrated the situation where his performance... It's only his performance has dictated him not being in the side. There's no witch hunt... Nobody after Jesse Lingard because they don't like him and his stupid dances in the dressing room. That It's his performance that hasn't got him there. So this idea that he sweated blood for 20 years... Do you, say, do you mean his performance in training? Because we've not a, seen him on the pitch, so it must made, be his performance he's, he's, in training. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He's been made a multi-millionaire through football. So the blood, sweat and tears that he bought at Man United wasn't because he was being philanthropic or for the goodness of his heart. It's because we, he was rewarded to right, do we so. Get, we, we get you. We get your Good, I this. want that point to be made. But he, but he made 232 senior appearances for United. And that's should he, should he Was he not due, Ranjik, yes, saying, a guard on, of honour? 
On, no, no, no. Was he not <laughs> due Ranieri to turn around and say, on you go then? No, it was not. final 10 what minutes. What a you think, situation. Yeah, he, he was. He just, I I feel, well, Cavani I, and Mata got it. I think you look well, at maybe the, he likes them and he doesn't like Jesse Lingard. You look at the balance of the game. What did he win? 3 0 in the end. They'd won the game, you know, with 20 minutes to go. I think if you've got sentiment and you, you feel that the player deserves it. You just it, said there was no place for sentiment. Make your mind up. What I'm saying is, if you feel you've got sentiment for this player because he's put the work in in training. He clearly doesn't. Exactly. And, and you have to ask yourself why. And the manager, prior to that, why? And he's in a... Di- Listen, I, I know he's not in a ridiculous position where, you know, he's not going to pay his mortgage. He's probably not got one. But it's one of them where you come to, you're sure coming you towards the end of your reign... You're coming towards the end of your reign at the football club, you know you're leaving. Mm-hmm. As he down tools a little bit, Jesse, and not and not prepared a properly for down tools, for, not prepared Never. properly for the right till the end of the season. You're maybe too sarcastic, maybe you? that's a bit of the what's happened, and he's half killed himself by not not I just putting think it in training week and week out. A run out. This boy's got a case. Well, that says that they've been training right. They've you, earned the right to be on the be, pitch. But, okay, then you have to be making a Are case. you serious that Lingard hasn't been training right? That... Well, he's not been training enough. Forget about training right. He hasn't been training enough. Why That's hasn't he been Ralph, training enough? Ralph Rangnick said he's not been training enough. Well, so maybe he's, had a, training. maybe he's had a couple of injuries. Okay. Maybe he's had an illness. He's just not in the right physical shape that he could trust him to Are you making the a That's case for him being singled out? Are you suggesting that he's a victim of something? I'm not, no, I'm not suggesting that for one moment. But at the end of the day... Well, the bro- the brother to me is wrong going on Instagram and saying what he said. Well, he's wrong I, I, because I, I, he's I, wrong. There's, there's almost it doesn't a, help anybody, does it? It doesn't help anybody. There's almost a case that Manchester United should extend it to certain members of, of players' families. How do you do that then? Uh, in terms how, of media training. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, Maybe you're thinking about doing you it, but here's the idea, trip. don't do it. No. Nope. I missed that. Well, I don't really, I don't really um, re- but, say it. But... But when we're talking about media training and we're talking about control over people, how can you how can you routinely tell someone else that's not attached to a contract with you that you're not paying how they should behave? Well, you, you can educate. You can't if they choose force. to be educated. Yeah. If, if I'm but your I think brother, they, they educate. You if I'm your now. brother and you're getting paid fortunes for for playing for a particular team, and I want to talk about things in my life, I'm not going to be told by your bloody employer mm. what I can and can't say. It might, yeah, yeah, I, might told, I might be told about, by you. Yeah, so it might help to up. listen though. Because to a large extent, he's put Jesse in it here by what he said. Well, do you really think that Jesse Lingard... Well, look at your reaction a... to it. To what? You were all over it. No, I, no I'm not... You I... came out there with honours degree and sarcasm. No, no, no. You I'm were not... all over it. What I said was, first and foremost, the devil's in the detail, was that he has every right to say what he wants and we can lift it and make of it what we want. That was my opening gambit. Then I turned around and said... But actually, when you start to look into the words that his football parlance about sacrifices and blood, sweat and tears, he don't know what blood, sweat and tears is footballers leave off it's a lovely existence even at the bottom of the pyramid it's not like real life blood sweat and tears is what I have to do the tears I have every time I come in here and face you across the desk so when did you play football at the bottom of the pyri- pyramid and well, tell us it's it a out, lovely gonna... experience but I've watched it I've seen it I'm interested in I'm engaging how do you know it. what it's like it is blood sweat at times it is blood sweat and tears on pitches my, at the bottom of the pyramid because my brother's chief executive is Stephen, Stephen experience. so I do know yeah, so I'm watching it. I've it's been there. No, it's, a, it's, it's an unbelievable journey. The other day and caused mayhem. Apparently, well, that may be it's true, an unbelievable it's journey. And when you when you're under the knife and you're getting your knee to get operated on, and you know you can't walk for six months, of course it's blood, sweat, and tears. Don't oh, disrespect oh, players please, and what they go Trevor. through to make but we've it. We've got to get context between this poor. First of all, most of them walk around like impending doom. And like they're doing us all a favour. Secondly, every no, now and again, don't. the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. You have an operation. Here's a, tell you what's going to happen. You're going to have an operation, but during your career, you're going to earn 50 million quid. Operation every day of the week. Well, you wouldn't have an operation every day. But it's, I'm it's talking about your reaction it. to it. It's, listen, We've got to we get don't context. go into football. They're very hope. privileged. We, of and, we are. And, and I'm not denying that. that. And the point is that we, we, we're digressing, yeah, but the point is, it's a silly statement. He's been rewarded very That's well. His line. career's come to an end. Yeah. And he goes off somewhere else and gets a big bag of money that he probably doesn't deserve. See, I think Jesse probably ended up turning around to Louis, his brother, and saying, you know what you put out on Instagram? Thanks, but, you know. Get rid of it. Please don't. You know what I mean? It could have It didn't help him. But then, then I would imagine if he's. Brother, I, mean, I wouldn't want you in charge of my Twitter account. I wouldn't want to be anywhere near your Twitter account. No. <laughs> I've seen what you get up to in your private life. I wouldn't want to be able to take the pictures and put it out. Incidentally, you don't Instagram have, even worse. You my don't God, have many could you imagine? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talk sport.